Hi everyone, I'm Ghost Masala and welcome back to a new series on the channel, Champions League Predictions. And uh, clues in the name here, the, this series is me predicting Champions League matches and stuff like that. And the way I'm doing this is I'm doing two predictions videos for each round of the Champions League. So the first predictions video that I'll do for each round is a one where I predict the scores to all of the games in the Champions League that in that particular round. The second type of video is similar to the predictions that I slash guides I did for the World Cup if you were around um, on my channel in the summer. So a more in-depth video where I focus on a particular one particular game of the whole round and see which players could affect it more, sort of their guide, sort of loads of different stuff and then a final prediction of that game, more in-depth view of that game. You can check the top right, check the cards um, to see uh, like an example of that, my England vs Columbia predictions video that I did back in the summer. And also make sure to vote for which game you'd like me to do this sort of guide review sort of thing on. Um, yeah, so whichever uh, game gets most votes, that's the one that I'll do the guide on. And yeah, so for today and uh, for every predictions, the every first predictions video that I'll do, I'll just predict the first legs to start off with, and then if the video does well, and yeah, if I'm, if the series does well as a whole, I'll predict the second leg games another day. Yeah, so um, first up we have Roma versus Porto, and for this game I got went for a one-all draw in this one, mainly because um, both teams, well Porto are in very good form, they came out of the Champions League group stage unbeaten I believe, and uh, in terms of the Portuguese league they are also in very nice form as well, they've got some very good players in uh, Alex Tellez, and um, some of the good players as well, uh, Morega as well is on form, and Roma however are not on quite as good form um, as Porto, but they always like to perform in the Champions League, I'm sure you remember last season winning against Barcelona and stuff like that, so yeah, um, they they aren't in too good form, especially in um, the Serie A as well, but uh, I've still gone for a one-all draw, uh, I believe that it will be a very close match and it will be interesting to see who wins that one, but uh, yeah, one-all draw for the first leg. Next we got Man U versus PSG, a very interesting one as well. Um, and I, but I do believe that PSG will be able to easily win this one. They've got so much quality in their team. They, they, somehow they don't seem to do as well as like their players seem. But I believe they will beat Man U. Man U really are not on form, and they were looking to get through the group stages um, in terms of beating Juventus. They had an easy group as well. So yeah. Um, I do think PSG will be able to win that one 2-1. And next we've got Spurs versus Dortmund, arguably the best tie of the whole round. I've gone for a 2-0 draw for this one, and uh, the reason why I've gone for that is because both teams are very attacking. Of course, they've got uh, Dortmund have got Sancho, they've got Royce, they've got Philip, they've got so much attacking quality. Witzel. Um, and Spurs have got so much attacking quality as well. Kane, I don't think Son will be around. Oh no, he probably will be. Uh, Kane, Hillman, Son, uh, Lucas Moura, Eriksson, so much attacking quality on both teams. It will definitely be a high scoring game, I think. And uh, both teams' defences are also kind of weak as well. So yeah, I've gone for a tool draw between Spurs and Dortmund. Uh, next, we've got Ajax versus Real Madrid. And although Real Madrid are in bad form, they are starting to get better and get out of their bad spell. So I do think Real Madrid will be able to win this one 1-0. One Ajax have played well against Bayern, but again, Bayern are also in bad form at the moment. And uh, yeah, I don't think their form will last. So they do have some good quality players in Tagliafico and Ziyech, but I don't think they'll be able to beat Real Madrid on this occasion. I think they will go out. Next, we've got Liverpool versus Bayern. I've gone for a 2-1 win for Liverpool. As I said, Bayern are not in good form. James Rodriguez seems he wants to, seems as though he wants to leave Bayern, and um, uh, Kingsley Coman's injured. Uh, Robin and Ribery are not doing as well as they once did. So yeah, I think Liverpool will quite easily win this one. It won't be a thrashing, but I think they will have this, especially as uh, Liverpool are in such good form and they've got so many good players as well as backups, and they could potentially be strengthened by Pulisic by the time this draw comes around as the games are being played in February so yeah I've gone for a Liverpool win here the next one I've gone for a sort of shock actually uh, Leon versus Barcelona I've gone for a one-all draw mainly because 
Leon did so well against Man City in the group stages. I've gone for a one-on draw here. And also Leon have so much quality in their team as well in terms of attacking quality. Um, they've got uh, they've got Depay and Fakir on their team. Um, but Barcelona do have a good defence. So I've gone for a one-all draw. I think they'll shock Barcelona here and uh, take it to the second leg. I mean, it's always going to be taken to the second leg anyway. But make uh, the second leg competitive is what I'm going to say. I do think they will, Barcelona will eventually win though. And f uh, not finally, penultimately. I'm not sure if that's a word, but anyway, let's go with it. Uh, we've got Schalke versus Man City, and Schalke are really not doing well in the Bundesliga. Back in my Bundesliga prediction in the summer, I said Schalke were going to be top of the table. That did definitely, definitely not happen, unfortunately. So, I've gone for an easy 2-0 win for Man City here, um, because Schalke are really not doing too well at all, just in general. They may be focusing on the Champions League a bit more, but I still think Man City will have this in the bag. 2-0, really pleased with the draw that we got. Uh, the only other team that would have been as good as Schalke would have been Ajax and even then Ajax I think are still better than Schalke at the moment so there we go I think Man City will win 2-0 and finally we've got Atletico versus Juventus two very very defensive teams and I think this will be a 0-0 I've yeah I just don't see either team scoring especially in the first leg in the second leg when the, there's a threat of penalties a threat of going out I think um, then there'll be goals uh, but it'll still take something really special like a, a wonder goal or something like that in order to break the deadlock between these two teams who are so defensively strong and yeah that's the end of the predictions videos for predictions not predictions videos the predictions as a whole for today hope you enjoy this video uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of course there will be more anyway uh, because this, se this series is going to go on up until the final I might even do some Europa League games too if I'm bored or if you got, or if the series does incredibly well. But yeah, I don't think there's too much else to say here. Uh, yeah, so uh, make sure to vote in the top right and also check out the World Cup prediction if you want to see what's going to be coming in terms of the Champions League. And yeah, make sure to yeah like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.